Diana Simpson here at Quant Minds International in Barcelona. Joining me now is Vlasios Vuduris, Chief Data Officer at Argus Media. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for the invitation. And just tell me, how does it feel to be back at Quant Minds International? It's actually great. So it's, it's quite good to see a lot of the colleagues exchange ideas and I look forward for the next three to four days to discuss and see what people have been doing the last couple of years. And in the last two years, we've seen increased demand for ML tools that go beyond the mean. You argue that ML tool, tools for probabilistic forecasting provide new ways to understand market dynamics and produce new insights. What are the trends you are seeing in using this new technology? Yeah, so the last couple of years with COVID and then the uh, war in Ukraine and also the sanctions in different regions, we have seen significant um, jumps in the markets. The market dynamics have changed quite a bit. So that has actually drive the need to come up with a new trading strategies. And that new trading strategies, they use things uh, beyond the mean, like things like the volatility, the skewness and the kurtosis from the market dynamics. And that effectively means that you have to come up with a new ideas of describing and quantifying the uncertainty around the market dynamics. And the probabilistic forecast actually come actually to provide that information. And because of that, we see effectively a massive increased use in the probabilistic forecast so that the trading strategies can in incorporate more information around the markets. And trade-based alternative data as sources of alpha, Argus provides pricing data across the energy prices. What are the key challenges in using pricing for quant trading? Thank you for the question. So just a, good, a bit of a background about Argus. So Argus is a price reporting agency and effectively what it means that we are observing the market and by observing the market, we are collecting some key data for the different trade locations. And that includes both volume, how much actually crude oil or how much the commodities are, 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 are distributed around the world and also the prices. So in order to make use of that data for trading decisions, you really need to understand the local context. And what we say at Argus is not just about the data, it's the data and the knowledge we have about the markets together that actually makes uh, the, the usefulness in terms of using that data set for trading. And how are your clients using the Argus Data Science Studio in the context of the war in Ukraine for quant mental trading? Yeah, so what we notice is that as soon as the war started and also the implementation of the sanctions happens at a different uh, speed between the different geographic locations, a lot of the clients wanted a service where effectively they can include their own data set and try to see what that means for the uh, dynamics of the markets, of the commodity markets in specifically. So the Argus Data Science Studio allows effectively the clients to incorporate their own data set, but also their own knowledge. So we use this idea of causal modeling, for example. So it's not just the data, it's not just the local knowledge, but how do you constrain the model to take into consideration certain things that you believe about the specific locations that you are trying to understand. And they use the studio for that purpose. So they use for scenario analysis, but also customize our own models to create more uh, best spoken uh, insights for trading. Palacios Viduris, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.